Good morning, Abdullahi Mohammed. Thank you for joining us on the show. Well, we set up a, a second conversation. Good morning. Uh, thanks for having me. All right, then uh, we head straight to it. The Nigeria's Accountant General of the Federation uh, was accused of stealing 80, 80 million naira and was suspended. And uh, the Acting Accountant General was also appointed shortly afterwards. Uh, right now, the Acting Accountant General has been sacked over fraud charges and corruption. Abdullahi Mohammed, what do you make of this back and forth with the uh, Accountant General's office? Um, uh, thank you. It's, uh, it's very unfortunate, uh, but I think uh, to some extent we also say kudos to the uh, investigating uh, agencies, uh, the ICPT and the AFT, um, for carrying out their, their job. It doesn't matter even if uh, they recently start um, acting at the general didn't spend more than two or three weeks in office. Uh, what is important is that uh, if people are found wanting, whether it's in a day or two hours they spend in office, uh, they should be held accountable. Uh, but what I would say is that even before the appointment of uh, the Intelligence Act uh, Acting Accountant General, uh, it was clear that uh, since he was part of the process, part of the former uh, office of the and suspended uh, account of general. Uh, and then since the investigation uh, we are going on, uh, there was there was supposed to be uh, a, a, there was a thorough process. I mean in terms of uh, even appointing uh, the acting public order. So it is a kind of work of our system that uh, appoint someone than two weeks and then that person is back for corruption uh, related uh, problems. So I think we need to do more due diligence. We need to allow, I keep using the word allow, but um, I think you corrected me the other time. We need to demand for accountability. We need to ensure that our process is uh, susceptible to accountability. And then whenever we are making public uh, appointments, there is a whole lot of uh, Defense and and then characters are subjected to proper investigation. First, we keep making the mockery of our system just to be less than hmm. uh, uh, It was it was I think last month um, before his suspension. The acting uh, accountant general of the federation. Uh, we're talking about uh, Chuku Yere Anna Mekwe. He, he made a controversial statement. He said that uh, the federal government was borrowing to pay salaries. I just want to quote him. He said, quote, we have to borrow to augment the payment of salaries and wages. This shows that we are in very difficult time. Government income is highly challenged, is what he said. And um, uh, there were some rumors that the government was said to be uh, unsettled by his comments. Do you think that this may have contributed to his suspension? Uh, yes, undoubtedly, uh, from um, the healers and what we read in the media, uh, you know, government, not only in Nigeria, uh, everywhere all over the world, don't really want to be exposed, uh, you know. Uh, so I think his comment angered the authorities that be. Uh, his comment uh, probably was seen as very professional, particularly as a public office holder and a civil service. Uh, so, yeah, in some extent, it, it's really, I can't confirm, really, but in some, in some quarters and what we read in the media, it is believed that um, uh, it is part of what uh, got the acting acting general asked for his, uh, uh, from, from the office. Uh, but if you if you ask for my opinion, I think uh, yeah that that might contravene civil service law. Uh, that might also contravene the public service rule in Nigeria, uh, except what the government wants you to put out there uh, as a civil servant or public servant. You are not authorized or anything to do 
out to, to the public. I think when it's time, uh, the government actually wants that to be known uh, publicly, uh, they, they will do so at the right time and the appointed persons to do so. Uh, so you are right, it's possible that uh, um, the confessions of the acting uh, accountant general was part of the reason he was asked for office. Um, I mean, you look at you look at the reasons given for for the suspension of the uh, the the accountant general federation and even the acting accountant general who replaced him. And we only hope that the new acting accountant general, the acting acting accountant general, will not also um, um, have the same fate. Of course, you've said it shows that uh, the corruption and anti-corruption agencies are on top of their game. In this case, the EFCC. Uh, which is an arm of the federal government. So some could say, okay, you know, in, in another respect, the federal government is also uh, uh, on top of its game as far as the fight against corruption is concerned. But, but some Nigerians are, are, not, are not divorcing the, the link between the federal government itself, led by President Muhammad Buhari, and its appointees, this time the Office of the Accountant General of the Federation. Uh, uh, can the federal government absolve itself of you know, uh, 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 of ineptitude, of, of, you know, inconsistencies and um, uh, uh, in, in its affairs, you know, despite the fact that anti-corruption anti -corruption agencies are doing a good job with this, these scandals? Um, sorry, I'm struggling to get your question. All right. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm saying uh, in one breath, you, you, you're uh, praising the anti-corruption agencies for doing a good job, and that's still the federal government. But some Nigerians are saying that this whole, whole thing shows that the federal government is inconsistent, you know, in its approach, you know, and it's not on top of its game. So can the federal government divorce itself from what its agencies are doing or the heads of its parasitals? ministries, departments, and agencies are doing. That's why the fact that you're giving it praise uh, in its fight against corruption. Well, I, think, I think there are two ways, uh, if you want to look at it critically. One is the fact that uh, um, we would think um, after more than seven years of uh, President Mohammed Bahari's administration, uh, particularly the fact that uh, the administration hold on to power uh, with, the, uh, with the promise to fight corruption to stand still, you know, to cover all the goals and to ensure that uh, people who are corrupt or people who are stealing the funds are brought to justice. If you, if, if you look at it from that angle, you say after seven years or more, more than seven years now of this administration, you want to feel that uh, such... Um, uh, one ton uh, corrupt activities, I mean corruption to the tune of 80 billion, uh, should be something that would not have uh, occurred at this point in time. Because if you fight uh, and, 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 and you know, ensuring that uh, people who are corrupt uh, uh, face, the, face the music, uh, face justice as it were, then that would be definitely, that should have been a kind of deterrence for people by now, after seven long years. That should have been a kind of deterrence for public service holders and even, even private enterprise to want to, uh, you know, uh, have a meeting, uh, not to engage in, in corruption. Uh, so, so that is one angle. So if you look at it from that angle, you say the government has not really tried, or have not really done well, uh, because like I mentioned, after seven years and people are still engaging in this kind of one top uh, corrupt, corrupt tra practices, it doesn't show that the government has actually succeeded like it promised Nigerians. Uh, so that is one angle. But another angle is that, uh, irrespective of the time, uh, I mean, even after the seven years, the good thing is that even where people are corrupt, uh, government is trying so hard to, to apprehend these uh, so corrupt, alleged, allegedly corrupt uh, people. You know, so if you look at it from that angle as well, you, you want to give kudos to the government because it doesn't matter whether it's, it's spent seven years or, or more, but it's ensuring that uh, at least uh, people who are found wanting uh, are being held accountable and then justice is supposedly uh, done. So uh, from these two angles, 
he want to choose which one he, he want to put on. So, so let, let, let me let me quickly, uh, Abdul, let me quickly put you on the spot. This kind of one talk of practice. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. Mohammed, let me quickly put you on the spot very mm. quickly. Um, so with what you've said now is a glass half full or is it half empty? What? Uh, Mohammed. Yes, like, like I've just I've just given you the two options. So no, no, I want, I want you to take one. I want you to take one. Is, is it half full or half empty? For me, for me, seriously, I, I will I will take both. It is half full and and it's still very empty. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, right, thank we you so much, Mohammed Abdullahi, for being part of the show this morning. We appreciate your time. Uh, have a great day. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Muhammad Abdullahi is a public affairs analyst. And we have been looking at, you know, the event surrounding the appointment of a new accountant general of the Federation following, uh, you know, the sack of the previous accountant general. That's the size of it. If you missed out on any part of our conversation, follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Subscribe to a YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa, Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. I am Messi Bokbo. My name is Kofi Bartels. We return tomorrow. Good morning.